Okay, we're staring at test tubes. <laughs> they are pretty colored. And this is what you get to do for lab number four. Um, and we've set up some examples of the very best that Liz could come up with <laughs> from her lab. So um, we're going to run through what you guys should see and why you're seeing it with each one of the experiments. So we're starting with 4.1 from lab four, which is testing for reducing sugars using a Benedict solution. So for every single solution you're going to have in this lab, you're gonna have a positive control and a negative control. And for all of those, that's gonna be test tube number one and test tube number two. So a positive control, remember, is gonna have the substance that we're looking for. So in the case of our Benedict's reactions, we are gonna have a reducing sugar solution. It literally says reducing sugar solution. And it is a positive control. And no this, brainer. No brainer, right? This is gonna give you a comparison to look at all the other tubes because remember this is going to be a qualitative not quantitative lab and then our test tube number two is the negative control in the case of this lab we are going to use water because if you think about it water has like nothing in it right? no proteins no sugars no nothing so it is a perfect H2O. perfect negative control for us um, and in, in labs in the future we may not always use water but for today we are also using so you also are going to test four other solutions for this one. Um, these are what we would call our unknowns because we don't really know if there's anything in them. In this case, we don't know if there's reducing sugars. Even if you have a hypothesis as to if onions or potatoes have reducing sugars in it, you don't know. So we have to test it. You're testing that hypothesis. So in this case, we have test tubes three is, I'm on the wrong page. Onion. Onion. You Liz, got Liz has it memorized. Oh. Hey, onion is gonna be number three. Number four is potato. Number five is glucose. And then starch is going to be number six. You're also gonna test an unknown in lab. And you have no idea what color that's gonna change. Uh, so here we can see by looking at three, four, five, and six, uh, that they are going to be slightly the same as either our positive or negative control. So by looking at this, you can see that test tube number three is very similar to test tube number one. So onions have a lot of reducing sugars in it, as opposed to potatoes, which are kind of somewhere in the middle. They have some reducing sugars, but not nearly enough because they kind of sort of match. They're kind of ugly. <laughs> Potatoes turn kind of ugly. Kind of a sliding scale, <laughs> right? The more orange red, the more reducing sugars. You know, the less the greener, oranger, yellier, uglier. Yeah, Calling it I'm ugly. With you. All right, and then <laughs> number five is glucose. Remember, glucose is a reducing sugar, um, so it is going to also test high for reducing sugars. And then the last one is starch. Since starch is a complex carb, it is not going to test well for reducing sugars. So while we're on the subject of carbohydrates, we're going to zoom in on 4.2. Um, 4.2 is testing for starches. So again, complex carbohydrates. And as we looked at in lab three, when you used iodine, um, when iodine and starch mix, you get purple, like bright purple. It almost looks black through the camera, but you will see it has a purple hint when you do your test. So again, test tubes one and two are positive control. The first one is a starch solution. Second one is water, negative control. And that we can compare. Test tube three is onion. Test tube four is potato. Five is glucose. Six is reducing sugars. And seven is something. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> Just an extra. Yeah, that's your, that was probably the unknown probably. that was tested, right? Probably. Um, so just by looking at this, you can compare the solution colors to our positive and negative control. And the only one here that's showing any type of solution is going to be test tube number four, which is the potato. A potato looks, and if you shake it up, because what's going to happen is the potato chunks all sink to the bottom. <laughs> right, so when you shake it up, you can see that it is a nice bright purple, dark purple, black color. And it's just like your positive control, as we're all the rest look like the negative control so they will not have the starches inside of it so potatoes have starch onions don't but onions do have that reducing sugar we saw earlier as where potatoes really don't 